Hello, I'm Lorinda Youngcourt, Director of the Department of Public Defense for King County. I'd like to take a few minutes to explain to you how our department is set up and what I'm looking for in my new leadership team. First, about our department. For many years, public defense in King County was provided by four nonprofit law firms. In 2013, the department was formed, created by a voter-approved initiative that brought those four firms into a county department but also put in safeguards that could ensure that we could operate with a high degree of independence. As a result, we now have a system that I believe may be unique in the nation. We're a single department that has four separate divisions, divisions that in many ways act and look like independent law firms, each with their own attorneys, investigators, mitigation specialists, paralegals, docket clerks, and more. At the same time, we have a director's office that oversees the department, providing those law firms with the administrative support and training they need to provide legal representation. The director's office, with input from the four divisions, also provides high-level advocacy, policy development and strategic direction, addressing systemic issues with criminal justice across the system, and ensuring public defense has a seat at the table. The department has broad county support as well. And perhaps most noteworthy, we have a Public Defender Advisory Board, which is comprised of regional leaders in public defense. They play an active role advocating on behalf of the department, issuing an annual report on the state of public defense, and more. My goal now is to put in place a leadership team in support of this model, a team that supports our attorneys as fully as possible, enabling them to focus on what's most important, excellent legal representation for their individual clients. So what does this support look like? Some of it is the basic stuff of law firm management, like payroll, budgeting, IT support, caseload management, and the establishment of internal policies that govern a range of administrative issues. It also involves efforts to ensure we have excellent and well-trained staff at all levels of the department. So that means the implementation of a comprehensive training program, recruitment, internship programs, practice area coordinators who are spending time in the courtroom flagging issues that need to be addressed, and oversight of our assigned counsel panel to ensure they're providing quality representation also. Finally, it entails big picture policy work, efforts at criminal justice reform, and the establishment of programs that can keep people out of the system or at least minimize their involvement in it. So that means strong analysis of data and trends to understand and address racial disproportionality in the system. It means therapeutic courts and diversion programs. It means strong and effective engagement with judges, prosecutors, and other players in the criminal justice system, ensuring that public defense always has a voice at the table. It means identifying issues where reform is in order, issues pertaining to juvenile detention, the due process rights of those facing involuntary civil commitments, jail practices, prosecutor practices, and more. My leadership team will work at all of these levels and it will provide management and oversight, vision, direction, training, and recruitment, all with an eye towards supporting those on the front lines, the attorneys, the paraprofessionals that provide the best legal representation to our clients. I'm not going to go into each and every position on the team. You'll find the job descriptions for each position on the department's website. But I will mention the qualities that matter most to me, what it is I'm looking for in the folks who make up this team. First, I like lively and meaningful engagement, so I want people who will speak their minds openly and passionately and clearly, but I also need people who understand what it means to be on a team, who can work collaboratively once a course has been charted. I want people who aren't afraid of change, who in fact are open to innovation and new ideas, and who can problem solve in a sometimes challenging and ambiguous environment. I want people who are skilled communicators. In my eight months here, I've learned that clear and frequent communication is key to good management. I need people who know and understand our practice areas. Two of the positions on the leadership team are fully focused on practice areas, the felony and misdemeanor practice area coordinators. But I plan to ensure the other practice areas, juvenile, dependency, sexual offender, and therapeutic courts, are represented by someone on the leadership team with expertise in that area. I want people who are detail-oriented, but who can also zoom out and see the big picture. In other words, I need people who understand the mechanics of public defense 
but who are also visionary and strategic thinkers. Finally, I want people who are absolutely dedicated to public defense, who see this as their life's work and who care passionately about our clients. This is a remarkable time for public defense in King County. It's rare to have an opportunity like this one. We're creating a new department, charting a new direction, and working to build one of the best systems in the country. If you can see yourself playing a role, if you believe you have what it takes to be on this team, I hope you'll consider applying. I urge you, don't worry too much about which position might be right for you. Apply for several. Thanks for listening and thanks for considering joining our team.